Good afternoon, everyone. Today we are tabling the 2020 proposed operating and capital budgets for Council's consideration. This presentation is a high-level review of the budget process so far and how we've arrived at the proposed numbers. The budget undergoes many levels of review, starting with individual departmental meetings, departmental meetings with finance, and then once finance pulls the numbers together, additional meetings with departments continue. When finance and each department head are satisfied with their numbers, a final overview with the senior management team takes place. The senior management team represent the departments of finance, administration, library, public utilities, human resources, economic development, facilities, fire and emergency management, transportation and environmental services, clerks and legislative services, communications and IT, and planning and building services. The strategic plan is our guiding force. This year, Council approved the 2019-2023 strategic plan. The guiding principles for this plan are outlined under five pillars. Considerate communities, healthy lifestyle, respected environment, strong governance, and vibrant economy. Management is also an integral component of the budget process. While repairs and maintenance are accounted for in the operating budget, the replacement of assets are presented in the capital budget. Some of the assets that, that are included are parks and facilities, heavy equipment, vehicles, or roads and bridges, water and wastewater treatment. We also review historical data and information received from council and ratepayers, our various plans and studies. This year we conducted an online budget survey and had responses from over 100 ratepayers. All of the responses are attached as supporting documents to today's budget. In 2019, Council declared a climate emergency. Staff have reviewed all areas of the budget and made some changes to reduce our carbon footprint. Some of these initiatives include an overall reduction in paper consumption of 30%, online applications, and a proposal for a hybrid electric vehicle. Staff continue to review processes that will reduce our overall impact on our environment. So we started with the base budget which is the 2019 approved capital and operating budget. We reviewed the budget numbers against our actual numbers and provided for adjustments. Legislative requirements and previous council decisions were added. We factored in inflation and we calculated our growth. We compiled community data that was received during the budget process and added proposed service level changes. Although we are working on the day-to-day -day services, we're also planning for the future of Grey Highlands. We are planning to promote Grey Highlands as a four-season tourist destination. We are actively working on attracting affordable and rental housing. We are planning for emergency management and climate change. We're also planning for future community events, all while strengthening our structure and reviewing and updating our policies and saving for a future asset management replacement. We have a new approach for 2020. This year, we compiled a comprehensive report that outlines all the pertinent information that is presented in today's budget. This report can be found on today's agenda under item 9.1. So what does this mean for the average taxpayer? On a residential home in Grey Highlands assessed at $350,000, the local tax increase will be approximately 4.2%, about $85 per year, or $7.08 per month. So moving forward, if Council passes the recommendation, the budget will be forwarded to the Committee of the Whole for deliberations in December on these proposed dates. You can still have your say. 
email us at budgetquestions at greyhighlands.ca and follow us on Twitter and Facebook.